Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from a Rotto Roundup video, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup that this came from, you can hit that I up in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes, or if you'd like to know more about the game, there's a link for it down in the show notes as well. Okay, let's get to it. Aqualin which is an abstract little tile laying game with gorgeous tiles. I mean, this definitely takes inspiration from Azul. Uh, an abstract game with a very lightly pasted on theme that's there and it's nice to have it, but really it's just all about these wonderful manipulating and playing with and uh, deploying these wonderful ceramic tiles. Now, this comes in fairly low because it's a fairly cutthroat game as well. It's for two players only, and the interesting thing is every tile has a colored sea creature on it. One player cares about the colors of the tiles, the other player cares about the sea creatures. And what both of us are doing on our turn is gra drafting another tile, putting it somewhere on the grid, and trying to create a contiguous grouping either of colors or of critters. But the other thing we do on our turn is we pick anyone, before we put our tile down, we pick any one critter that's on the board already Ready, and can slide it oh um you know from one side of the board to the other kind of like you know a uh, sliding tile puzzle board and you do that specifically well it could be to say oh look I, I'm trying to get a bunch of crabs together hey I can move this crab over here and I've got a bigger group of crabs that's a positive reason to do it but more likely you're gonna do it because oh I see you've got a whole bunch of green tiles right there you've got six green tiles that's gonna be huge for you it'd be a shame if I took this one tile um, and slid it to the other side of the board thereby breaking your two groups in half and now you're hardly going to score any points off it. Moo ha ha ha. And then after I've moved it away, the new tile I'm going to place down, I'll put it down on the table to lock that tile in place so you can't slide it back on your turn. So it's a very go chess like experience. It's all about moves and counter moves. There's actually a lot of game in a tight little package and it plays very quick. It's gorgeous. And if you're looking for a really cutthroat battle of wits that'll be over in 10 or 15 minutes, it's really well done. Um, it's just a little bit too aggressive for um, for our taste. Jen liked it more. Also, it's very abstract, So, and Jen doesn't have as much of a problem with abstract. So we both enjoyed our time with it. I don't think it's a keeper for us, but I could certainly see this game singing for the right type of player that's looking for something where, ah, oh, I see what you've got there. It'd be a real shame if, oh, zoop. Okay, now what are you going to do? And ah, what have you done to me? You know, that kind of, te uh, not te te but that back and forth um, battle of wits is what Aqualin has going on in spades, and it does it very well. Okay.